Well, they are dangerous for boaters, hazardous to the environment, and quite frankly, they just look terrible out on our waterways. Abandoned boats taking up space and sucking up tax dollars. Now leaders in Daytona Beach are working to get results on this. News 6's Molly Reed takes a closer look at what's being done to clean up our coast. Well, these derelict or abandoned boats behind me were sunk in the Halifax River up until recently. Now, the city of Daytona Beach is trying to get more of these kinds of boats out of the water, saying the issues with them go beyond environmental hazards. Daytona Beach Marine Unit Officer Nick Guracharya keeps tabs on the city's derelict boats. We've removed somewhere north of 30 vessels from the river since uh, the beginning of 2020. 15 so far this year, and now it's identified over a dozen more to take out with funding just passed, each one with a big bill to foot. Approximately $10,000, give or take. That's, a, that's an average breakdown. Obviously, some are more, some are less. It, it, it goes per linear foot. Guracharya says they're dangerous. It's even hard to see it in the daytime, especially from a little bit of a distance. To boaters, the environment. Diesel fuel and or gasoline spillage that's that's going out into the river. And if they aren't underwater already? They, they attract the, the, the transients and the squatters and the undesirable people that you don't want living in your backyard. Gurachari pointed to a case just last month with a boat on the city's derelict list. He says they found a squatter on it and stolen items, clearing three burglary cases from homes and boats nearby. We've had so much criminal activity recently associated with these boats that if you eliminate the place for them to go, you're making it more difficult for them to commit crimes. Guruchari says he's seen an uptick this year in the abandoned boats. He says many times they can find the owner, and if so, the person has 21 days to remove it from the water or face criminal charges and removal fines. If not, that's when the city pays, which is why they're now also cracking down on more boats at risk of sinking. Aggressively attack these uh, at-risk and derelict vessels on the front side to prevent them from getting to this point. Once these boats are pulled out of the water, brought to the city lot here, what's left of them really will then be stripped and demolished. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.